What is going on, collectors? I am back with another figure review. And as you can see, I am finally reviewing the Marvel Legends Ares. Now, I'm very excited to get my hands on just an Ares character in general. I mean, you all know Ares. I mean, anyone who knows Greek mythology or just, it, just any type of uh, platform, whether it be DC, Marvel, even uh, God of War. I mean, Ares is the God of War. <laughs> That's... That's what he is, the God of War, um, Ares, and just a total badass, and uh, what, whatever whatever he's put in, like I said, whether it's Marvel, DC, or just anything, um, just the whole character of Ares is just uh, very cool, and the fact that Marvel put him out, it, I mean, because he's a Marvel character, of course, uh, it's just, it's really awesome, and all the accessories that come with him, that's just the icing on the cake. So anyways, um, as you can see, the front, I mean, we got the the big figure, Ares, and um, the hammer that comes with, uh, basically for the Build-A-Figure Hulk, and then we get the arm. Uh, turn it to the side, get some artwork of uh, the other uh, figure that you can buy in the set, Thor. Turn it to the back. Got uh, Ares, and then uh, Odin's son, uh, Thor. Uh, here's the other figures that you can get from the wave. Not really interested in getting the rest. Uh, maybe Hela, um, but I've seen Hela up close, and she, to me, she really isn't everything that she's hyped up to be. Um, the paint on her, I don't know. Just to me, it wasn't that great. But you know what? If I can find her for cheap, I'll pick her up. So turn it to the side again. Get a artwork of Ares. And back to the front. So let's get this figure cracked open and reviewed. So cracked open and out of the packaging. I gotta say, this is a really massive figure and a really well detailed figure. I've said it in the past, um, you know, Hasbro every now and then can release a, a good figure, a, re a really well detailed figure worth uh, the price of 20 bucks. Uh, this figure is no less that. Um, Tons of accessories. Um, Articulation-wise, eh, not really that good. But again, um, with me, I'm more of if the figure looks good, then I'm going to buy it. And as you can see, I mean, this is a really well-detailed figure. But like I said, uh, plenty of accessories, well-detailed, uh, massive figure. Um, you're going to get your money's worth. Um, one thing to keep in mind that Ares was a Build-A-Figure. Um, this was a while back. I This was before I started collecting. I'm sure it's been mentioned before in other reviews, and that's actually how I got my knowledge. Um, Ares was a, a Build-A-Figure, so... Um, the reason why I bring that up is because if you're going to try and pose this guy, especially in uh, the leg part, you're going to have to get his joint right here into that certain pose so you can move his leg forward. It's not like, um, I guess it would be a T or a T joint more or less where you're just able to move the leg uh, forward and back and sideways with these so I guess that would be more of um, a T-joint if I'm not mistaken but anyways uh, on to the figure um, first I'm gonna I'm so taking a look at the accessories Ares does come with three. Um, some people have been including uh, the hammer that comes with Hulk as a fourth. Um, I tried putting the, the hammer in Ares' hands, but Ares' hands are, you know, they're kind of uh, closed off. But you can easily uh, warm his, you can warm his hands up with water or a uh, hair dryer or whatever, and then go ahead and uh, fit the hammer into his hands, make him look more of a badass than what he is. So I'm gonna include uh, the hammer as a as a fourth accessory. Uh, going on to the to the battle axe. It's really, it's well detailed. Um, you have all this uh, battle damage that's on here. Uh, it goes basically throughout the, the whole piece. Just uh, really well detailed, as you can see. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much just a, a straight black, all just uh, out on the handle. Uh, I got the silver blades right here, and then the base is just a, a black. But I can appreciate uh, how uh, Hasbro uh, made it battle damage. 
it just adds to the just adds to the to the piece and then on to um, his sword or claymore or however you want to say it again it's pretty much just a gray piece of plastic not really any paint details but it is uh they did make it battle damage as you can see there's a uh, chips uh yeah it's chipped <laughs> on uh, on the blade um right here it's painted uh gold pretty pretty detailed for the most part and then uh, of course the base just uh just a black base but i mean Seeing as how we haven't really seen these accessories in a while with other figures, it's it's nice to to see them again. Or I mean, it's, it's nice to see uh, new accessories, even though this was with the old Ares, but we haven't seen we haven't seen that Ares in a, in a while. And then of course he comes with his his knife, which goes on his uh, his side a uh, sheath, and pretty much it's it's a uh, colored just like the Claymore black base um gold piece right here and then gray plastic um let me see if i can i don't know why it's not adjusting come on So other than the the gray piece of plastic, it's not. I mean, it's detailed, but there's no uh, battle damage like how the claymore and the and the axe have it. Just just a standard uh, gray piece of plastic with gold and a black base. But again, uh, we haven't we haven't seen this knife in a long time. Usually, with other Marvel Legends, you just see the standard um, you know K bar knife. And that's pretty much all you get if they do include a knife. So this is something, uh, this is something uh, refreshing and uh, new. To, I mean, I'm gonna say new to people that didn't get a chance to get the other Ares. So just the fact that we are getting these new, these new accessories, and not just a redone like a like a regular katana that you see on you know <laughs> all the others like Deadpool, um, Blade even. So it's cool that uh, that uh, Hasbro did this. So on to the figure. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there's all types of iterations of Ares. Um, whether you want to go by the God of War series where he basically has a flame for hair, or if you want to go by the DC version where pretty much um, his whole attire, it just looks like death almost. Uh, and then we have uh, this Ares where he looks more of a, a Spartan soldier. And I dig this look. I really do. Um, again, you know, Ares is the god of war. So whatever whatever company or what have you is uh, is doing their interpretation of Ares, uh, it's always going to look it's always going to look badass. So getting on to uh, the paint apps really good um we have uh this basically this uh silver with a uh, black wash over it making it look like battle damaged uh metal um basically uh, the legs looks like a, a type of kind of like a leather material almost and then uh getting on to uh this piece right here this brown piece kind of looks like um basically uh, just like like leather armor almost and we have his uh his studded leather uh wrist his wristband then we have um <laughs> we have these pieces right here which if they're going for spikes then i would have thought them to be silver but i mean hey they still look good and then we have a uh, his studded, uh, basically like studded straps right here. Studded straps right here that hold up his. Uh, I'm I'm wanting to guess it's a like plate armor right here, just a black plate armor, because um, you can see right here, and I've seen it with countless other reviews. It is supposed to be battle damage. I guess that's supposed to be a dent. Why it's not painted? 
this is Hasbro we're talking about. <laughs> but nevertheless, that doesn't take away from the figure. I mean, if anything, for all you customizers, just uh, grab some of the good paint at you know your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels and go ahead and put that in there. Um, what I am kind of scratching my head about, though, is if they're going to put uh, battle damage right there, why not just put it throughout just the whole armored chest plate, you know? Um... His headpiece comes off with ease, and it's really detailed. Looks like a, a Spartan helmet, like like it should. You know, has a basically um, this uh, this top piece right here, really well uh, painted. Uh, shine, just a black shine right here. The gold, pretty much a standard uh, gold piece right here. Really digging it. It looks uh, well detailed. Getting onto Ares face, and I really, I really like what Hasbro did here. They they painted his eyes this like this blue color, and then put silver in. If it'll focus, see it a lot better. There we go. Get some better lighting on it. But yeah, I'm really digging how they did the eyes. It is a bummer, though, that this neck, it's not on one of those hinges where his head can look down easy. It's just, it's basically just on just a ball joint. That's it. So that is kind of a bummer. But again, this is basically a Build-A-Figure, and with Build-A-Figures, you don't really expect that much of articulation. However, the Juggernaut, I will give. That one had some pretty good articulation for a Build-A-Figure. So, uh, more of an up-close look. I do have uh, some uh, paint QC issues, which again, eh, kind of adds to the figure, in my opinion. Not a big deal. But really digging this head sculpt. I'm glad that they gave uh, gave Ares these eyes instead of you know the generic painted you know black eye you know black iris with a white eye. Uh, digging this uh, this dirty this dirty look right here. Real cool. So yeah, I mean no complaints about this figure, other than few uh, few issues. Yeah, I mean, his head basically can't really look up or down that much. Very basic. And I'm just going to go ahead and take his head off just to show you all. So that's what it is. Just this big freaking uh, ball piece right here. And then Aries' head just goes on. Can't look. That's why he can't look up or down. So that is kind of a bummer, but again, you're going to have his helmet on. So he can't really do a whole bunch of uh, looking up or looking down anyways. So yeah, I mean, awesome figure. He's starting to, to show up a lot more in stores, so I would say pick him up. He's very detailed, very badass. A uh, great addition to any type of collection, whether you have a God of War uh, Kratos figure. I mean, he'd be good to just <laughs> stand side by side with him or get him into uh, one of those fighting scenes. <laughs> so as I end it here, everyone, you know, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whether whether it's a positive comment or if it's a negative comment you know just be just be cool about it you know tell me what i'm doing right tell me what i'm doing wrong and as always everyone uh, collect what you love and i will see you all in the next video